Google's taking a crack at UI design, or so it would seem with their latest version of Android, Android 5.0 Lollipop. They've made some software changes and some serious optimization updates, but just like iOS 7's release, the thing everyone is noticing is the user interface. With an even flatter design, fluid transitions, ripple effects, and even the ability for developers to use shared visual elements that can carry over from one view to the next, it's pretty damn, well, pretty. Apps float into the screen smoothly, text pops into existence as it's entered, everything just feels a lot more fluid, more coherent, instead of jumping from separate app to separate home screen, back to separate other app. It's kind of nice. It's not just all about looks though. Android 5.0 makes Google's own runtime for Java called Art, that's replacing the much older JIT compiler from before, the standard that runs on the device, as opposed to it being a hidden developer option in previous devices. Click the link below for my video on that. What that means essentially though, is that the app is compiled as soon as it's installed on the device, instead of needing to be compiled every time you open it. Bottom line, faster apps. Notifications got an overhaul here too. Important ones now appear as a small floating window at the top of the screen and have action buttons that can be used to interact with them without having to leave the current view. They also show on the lock screen with more options as well, and you can control how much content or detail they show, handy if you have mm, nosy friends, for example. You can even set up a priority mode, which is basically Google's name for blocking or do not disturb mode. It blocks notifications from announcing themselves when you turn it on, except from people you deem a priority. A feature found in most modern Android devices anyway, thanks to manufacturers adding it themselves, but Google finally made it a standard part of Android in this release, is quick settings. Pulling down the notification shade, or tapping it now, gives you your normal notifications list, but also access to turn on and off certain controls like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. You can also tap the word underneath the icon to be taken to the settings page for that control if you need to. Multiple users are now allowed on phones and not just tablets like before, so you can now let your friends borrow your phone at the bar without fear that they'll post obscene Facebook updates. Some other noticeable features include OK Google always on listening, even when the screen is off, like the Moto X has, but only if your device supports signal processing, like the Nexus 6, Nexus 9, etc. Better graphics and audio capabilities for better performance, a power saver mode built directly into Android, support for raw camera formats, and more. Bottom line is that even though it's added some nice additional features, when you boil it down, it's a version of Android that is just a lot smoother and prettier, and that's always a welcome addition to any operating system. Let me know what you guys think of Android 5.0 in the comments below or on social networks at The Unlocker. Uh, but I have to say that I'm loving the update, if for no other reason, that it's just zippy. In my review of the Galaxy Note 4 coming, uh, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with the Nexus 5, so you'll see what I mean in that. Uh, seems to me this is just a huge reason to buy a Nexus 6, or a reason for manufacturers at least, to really up their game with their own custom interfaces. As always guys, thanks for watching.